I think as the 2018 Human Development Updates show uh, that there are lots to celebrate. We have made very impressive progress on many fronts of human development. Right now there are 59 countries which are in very high human development, uh, 53 in high human development, um, 39 in medium human development and only 38 countries in low human development. So if you look at the numbers, uh, the number of countries in low human development is just one-fifth of the total countries that we have covered in the HDI. If I look at the different indicators of uh, human development, uh, life expectancy around the world has gone up by seven years over the last 25 years. And right now there are 130 countries which uh, has achieved universal primary education. So these are the things that we should celebrate and uh, we should not be complacent about it, but we must build on what we have achieved and move forward. When I look at the 2018 statistical update and particularly uh, concentrate on the indices, uh, two things come to my mind. Uh, one is that the progress has never been linear and it's not going to be linear. And the second is just because we have achieved on many fronts uh, does not necessarily mean that those progress is guaranteed. I mean, in the 1990s we have seen that uh, countries which have made good progress on human development, there have been reversals because of HIV AIDS, particularly in Sub-Saharan Africa. Right now we are seeing that because of conflicts in different parts of the world, uh, countries which have achieved considerable progress in human development are now sliding down. There are still gaps uh, between high and low human development countries. Uh, in fact, inequality has become the defining issue of our time. And if you look at the progress that the countries have made, you can see very wide differences. If we look at the HDI overall for the world, and we see that because of inequalities in the achievements of human development, the HDI has gone down by 20%, and which is quite huge. If we look at the indicators, for example, Japan has achieved a life expectancy of 84 years, but in Sierra Leone, it is still 52 years. If we look at the educational achievement, for example, Germany has a mean years of schooling of 14, Burkina Faso is 2. When we look at the life cycle of uh, life of women, uh, we see that at the beginning, particularly in education, some of the gaps are closing. But as they move forward, we see that in terms of economic opportunities, in terms of higher education, in terms of political representation, the gaps are still there. Quality is important because it actually uh, defines the nature of the capabilities that you have. And the second thing the quality shows that it also uh, defines inequalities. Um, we have seen in the statistical update that the very high human developed countries, there are 14 pupils per teacher. But if you go to the low human development countries, there are 41 students per teacher. So therefore, the 41 students definitely do not get the same kind of attention, uh, the same kind of care, or maybe same kind of education uh, when uh, only one teacher look after them, compared to the situation where one teacher is looking after 14.